Thank you. For what purpose does the gentleman from California rise? Without objection. Mr. Speaker, this year we lost a uh, comedian of some note named George Carlin. Uh, one of uh, the marks of his career was when he challenged the FCC with the seven dirty words. We're now engaged in a debate on health care, and we've been told that there are a number of phrases that we can't use because we're attempting to speak truth to power, power being the Democratic leadership here in the House. What are these uh, dirty words or phrases we can't use to describe the leading Democratic health care proposal? We can't call it government run, even though that's what it's going to be inevitably. We can't call it sing single payer, even though that's where they're going. We can't call it socialized medicine. I don't know why not, but we can't. We can't call it Obamacare. We can't call it ration care, even though rationing is an absolutely essential element to their plan. We can't call it the government mandate care, even though it's full of mandates. The word shall appears, I believe, a hundred times in the bill. Shall means must means a mandate. And you can't call it keep your change care because, frankly, there won't be any change for you to keep. The seven dirty words we can't use. For what purpose does the gentleman from Indiana rise? Without objection. The gentleman is recognized for one minute.